my beauties. How are you guys? I'm feeling great, thanks for asking. I am so very, 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 very excited to do my first monthly faves. It's gonna be so amazing. I love it. These are all my favorite products. I have makeup, clothing, I think I have reading, hair, a little bit of hair. Um, cat, don't bother me. They never learn. So these are just all my monthly faves of September, and I hope that you guys enjoy. The first item that we have uh, is clothing, and it's becoming fall. It's like four days into fall. This is just my fall staple, and these are these army green pants. Now they are so cute. They're from Uniqlo, which is a Japanese brand. I'm gonna die because my phone is low on battery life and I just want to film a video oh my god oh, nothing ever works out like this mm -hmm. let's see how far that we can get on one battery charge huh so yeah these are definitely my staple if you ever want um, I'm not very into super colorful jeans or skinny jeans or anything these are skinny jeans by the way they're super durable they're really amazing so comfortable and um if you're not into super colorful jeans, I definitely recommend like a gray or like a tan or an army green because those will just spruce up any outfit and I love them. So you should love them too. Next we have just a cute little item. I keep this in every bag that I have just in case I'm in a cold room or I it's kind of chilly out there. It's like lately it's been this weird in between summer fall phase um and that's just a simple gray button up uh this is from old navy it's so simple it's three quarter lengths very sheer very cozy and warm and i just absolutely love it so get one of these they're so inexpensive and they're just you need them next and final thing for fashion is this dress i love this dress so much it's so cute it's also three quarter length sleeve it's got like a wide waist so it's not like in on the waist and it's got this super adorable pattern just look at it it's amazing i love it so much it's so just light and easy and warm and fall and i'm going to feature this in a fall photo shoot that i'm having with my friend um for my blog so check that out i will include the link to my blog below definitely check it out this is super cute I love it, it smells good. I guess that's a good thing because I wore it last. On to makeup favorites. My favorite favorites. First thing off is a new lipstick. Now you all know that I am super, super, super duper obsessed with um, Rimmel's Kate Moss uh, lipstick collection. They're amazing and I love them and I'm never going to leave them, but I have discovered, I think this is Maybelline. The other one was Rimmel. This is Maybelline's Color Stay Lipstick, and they are so good. I'm very tempted to say that they might be better than Kate Moss, but I don't think anything can be better than Kate Moss. So they just smell really good, and this is like a super, super duper duper duper. Wait, let's do this. Super duper duper, like raspberry kind of color. I love it so much. It stays amazingly. The one that I'm wearing right now is actually Kate Moss, so sorry. But I only have this one shade. I want to get more. It's incredible. And look at the little package. It's just like a little candy. You just want to eat this. This is Maybelline Colorlicious um, in 875 Vivid Rose. Check those out. Next are mascaras. I always go to CoverGirl for my mascaras. Um, and these are my favorites. So these are actually both waterproof, and I did not mean to get them in waterproof. I think I meant to get this one in waterproof, but not this one. Uh, they're both really amazing though. I don't really exactly like waterproof mascaras, just because if I wear them daily without actually going into any water, they are kind of residue-y and they just don't feel super good on my lashes. Not like while I'm wearing them, but after I take them off. So this is CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash, Lash Blast. I have the Lash Blast volume one. I absolutely love it and I will never change. But this one is super cool. It comes in a little green bottle and it's waterproof and it's just black. So um, I really love it and it's like it's got a little 
bendy thing. So you use this side for volumizing and then this side for lengthening. And I just love it. Good one. And then the other one that I have is CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Waterproof and also Black Black. And that just has a really awesome thick non-plastic brush and it just goes on very well. It thickifies your lashes. I don't... It's very nice. Next, we have a little NYX product. I'm very into NYX recently and I, I don't know. I'm just very into them. But I've been looking for a great eyebrow kit. I've been using eyeshadows and they haven't exactly been working. They don't look exactly uh, really natural. And then I found this and it's like the cutest little thing. It's got a little brush on the tip and it's a little mechanical uh, eyebrow pencil crayon in EP06 taupe. It works so well. You just put it on and then brush it through. I'm going to do an everyday makeup um, look that I just use every day for school and I will definitely be featuring this in this because it's just super natural. It looks really great on and it lasts. So good job, MY. Last but no, not last, almost last, is Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse uh, Foundation. And it's like airbrush finish. And this is in the color Nude Beige. It also says light 3.5 next to it, but I don't really know what that means. This has just been an ultimate favorite for mine. It broke, the top broke. I just took that as a sign that I needed to start experimenting with other foundations. But, um... Now I'm back to this little guy and he's almost out. I think I'm going to get a lighter shade because it's fairly tan and I don't know what I was thinking. But um, it's super light, fairly sheer. I've learned that you can layer it. I actually wore it today. I'm not wearing it in this video, but I wore it today um, for school. It's just a very nice, natural, quick, easy apply type thing and it lasts. Um, either it lasts or it's so adjusted to my skin tone that it just doesn't look like anything when it's come off. Definitely look into this if you just want an everyday natural uh, foundation. This is always something that I've gone back to, so this is in my monthly favorite. Now, last but not least for makeup is NYX again, and this is Love in Paris Little Palette. It's little madelines and macaroons, um, and it's just the cutest little natural, um, there we go natural eyeshadow packet ever. It's got a little bow on the clothes and then you just open it up. Come on. And it's got a little thing or bobber at the top that I don't use, but it's got this really pretty sparkly one. It's just got a lot of different browns, a little pinks. I love it so much. I never want to let it go. And I also want to get more of these because they have different colors. So check these out. They are amazing. Now on to hair. So amazing. I have this weird hair thing where I just want my hair to look amazing without actually doing any work to it. Um, and these little guys, I just can't get a... Oh, I got a Twitter thing. Anyways, back to Tony and Guy... I can do things today. Back to Tony and Guy cleansing shampoo and conditioner. I love these so, 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 so much. I just got them. So I don't know how they're gonna work later on. These are Target. I bought them at Target and they were $12 and $14, so that's not too bad. Um, they're British, of course. I love British products and British people. It's just really great. It says shampoo for normal hair, everyday vitality and condition for normal hair, everyday softness. It's amazing. I got the duo. It's really nice and it's what I've just been using the past couple days. It does not dry out or oil or weight down. It's very soft and smooth. You can immediately feel it in the shower or afterwards. I will keep you, keep you updated on um, how it continues to last, if anything changes with it. But I just absolutely love it. So look into it. All right, now on to little decor additions. This little guy. Is so cute. I can't do it. It's a little ring holder that I got from Urban Outfitters and it's just two little bunnies and they little kissing. They're so cute and I love them so much. And you put your rings on the top. So I have a couple cute rings here on the tops of them and I just love it so much. If you ever want little kissing bunnies, which are like who would not want little kissing bunnies? <laughs> Definitely check them out at Urban Outfitter. So adorable. 
recommend. You guys are so cute. Next thing for room decorum slash storage is jewelry stuff. I got this jewelry box also at um, Urban Outfitters. That's what it's called. I love it. It's like glass with um, paisley print type thing going on on the top. It's like, it's so cool. I think this is an octagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, sorry, I lied. And I just keep my bracelets and cool little um, necklaces in there. Last thing on my favorites is this book, which is the third and final in the Divergent series. I love Divergent. I got through it in like two days, which is very good for me because I don't usually read that much or that fast. Actually, no, I have not started this yet. I'm excited to start this. I've heard that it's not the best in the series, so I'm very excited to see what I think and see what happens. It kind of went downhill from Divergent. It was like Divergent and then Insurgent and then Allegiant, and it just, yeah. That was all that I have for this week. I will be keeping you guys posted and updated. I love you guys. Peace, love, and baby ducks. I am so weird. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. Bye, my lovelies. Ooh, yeah. Cat, stop it. Oh, simple skincare, thank you. Cat, no. I, oops, ah, uh. hmm. Oh, let's readjust ourselves here. Guess what? It's a succulent plant and it's my baby. <laughs> What's left? Oh, I'm so tired.